What's good, YouTube? This is my first installment of my new series entitled Straight Talk for Grownups. This ain't that how to tell if a guy likes you type of shit. This is that get your life together and let's talk about some real issues type of shit. So without further ado, you can't change him. You know what irritates the shit out of me? Watching women chase despicable men and then play the victim when he does exactly as he's always done, which is to mistreat her and use her up, dragging her life through hell in the process. Some of y'all are piss poor decision makers. You have been given no reason to believe that he will be who you need him to be, but you give him your life anyway. Oh, I get it. You think because you can throw that ass in the circle that he's gonna change for you. You think after he used and hurt all those other women that you're gonna be the one to pin him down. Why? Because you're different than them? Oh, let me guess, you're special. You probably are special. A special kind of stupid. You've disregarded his history and his reality. Assessing his ability to care for you strictly on your fantasy on how you wish things could be. Or how things could be. People only change because they are fed up with themselves and they want to change. Or dire circumstances dictate that they must change. People are who they are. Those asshole men and women you know today were probably little asshole babies. They grew to be asshole kids and then asshole teenagers, and you met them as asshole men and women. Even when a person does change, it's not their nature that changes, it's their practices and habits. Trying to make an immature man settle down with you is like trying to jump into a moving car. Yeah, it's been done before, but most people just get fucked up and dragged down the street in the process. I say all that to say ladies, Stop getting into relationships with deceitful, manipulative, unfaithful, self-destructive, emotionally immature men thinking that your love can change them. Just like a person battling addiction must make up their mind to change, a broken, immature man must make his mind up to become greater than he is. You wanting him to be more dependable, have more integrity, stop lying, stop sleeping around, be a better father or role model, be more dependable, stay out of trouble, stay out of jail, stop hitting you, stop emotionally abusing you, love you harder, care more, or just be a man and own up to his bullshit won't change him. He will only change when he gets tired of disappointing himself. If and when the day comes that he's tired of being good for nothing. With that said, ladies, stop using good men to fix shit around your house. Listen to your problems and give you money when you need it. Only to throw that ass at the other type of guy I described. And then play the victim when he does exactly as he's always done. Because after you're all used up, carrying all kinds of baggage, you'll be just as worthless to a good man as those weak men you've been giving yourself to. So please get y'all shit together. I'm done ranting. And this was Straight Talk for Grown Ups. Click on my picture to subscribe. Click on these videos to see more of me. Until next time.